Okay, now that I've kind of looked at my swatches on my hand, I'm thinking I'm going to declutter this guy, this Too Faced one. This was the swatch right here. It's just very, very sheer, very pale. So I'm gonna let this one go from Too Faced and pass this one on to my niece. I just barely picked this up recently for as a 100 point perk. So I'm gonna let that one be passed on to one of my nieces or my daughter or something as well. So technically, now we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them that are being decluttered from the one bin. Let's move on to the other bin right over there on the left. Starting out, let's start with this guy right here. This is one from ColourPop. I received this in a traveling makeup box swap. And as much as I love the color on this, what one is this one? Bound. I don't know how long that the girl had it before I got it. And uh, it just makes me a little uncomfortable. It has these like sparkly glittery things that are forming on the outside edge. So I'm just gonna let this one go. This one's probably just gonna go in the trash. I wish I would have tried it out a little bit more, but that's, you know, that's the thing about getting something from a box swap. You never know how long they had it beforehand. So I'm gonna let that one go easily. Then I have some of these. These are the L'Oreal Glossy Balms. I really love the formula on this. This one right here in Ginger Candy is beautiful. I should be trying to pan this one this year. Let me see if I can give you a swatch. It's a very light kind of peachy pink sort of tone and this one obviously has the most progress on it it's the most beautiful in my opinion so hanging on to this one but i think i think i'll save this one this is number 230 and it's just a very sheer kind of pink color you can build it up you can have a real like a really sheer wash of pink i'll hang on to this one for now but it might be on my radar to be decluttered in the future but it's staying for now and then this one i just picked this one up on clearance from walgreens it was super cheap this one's in number 260 this in this one's in vintage rose and as you can see there i barely even touched it i think i swatched it once so i'm probably gonna pass this one on to a niece or something it's just a very easy color to wear especially if you like a mauvey sheer kind of tone so i'll pass that one along Okay, then I have some NYX lipsticks here. Somehow I ended up with two of these NYX lip butters in the shade, what shade is this, Fun Size? And I love the shade of these, right? I think they're beautiful. But I have a ton of lipsticks that look identical to this. So obviously I'm gonna get rid of one of these and then I have this one here that is very reminiscent of the very reminiscent of Max Rebel. So I'll I'll give you a little swatch. I think I got this out of an Ipsy bag. So I think I'm going to declutter this one just because you can either have a really sheer wash of this on your lips or you can build it up with a couple swipes because it is so shiny i think i would much rather opt for wearing max rebel than this one so i'm gonna let this go as much as it pains me i really like that formula of lipstick from nyx this one is one of my all-time favorite kind of purpley mauve lipsticks this is the NYX Round Lipstick in Power, and I just had this around for so long. It's so beautiful, though. I might have to go repurchase this at some point, but oh man, the color of this is stunning. So I'm definitely getting rid of this because I know I've had this one for about three and a half, four years. Definitely time for this one to go. This is Probably my oldest lipstick in my collection here. I just could never part with it, but I really need to because it's that old. I have a couple more L'Oreal lipsticks here. This is one from JLo. This is number 370, JLo's Nude. This is gorgeous. It's a little bit more of a deeper nude for me. It doesn't look like it on the swatch, but in person and on my lips, it's a little bit more deep. So I'm definitely keeping this one. I don't even think that you can get these ones anymore. So keeping this one. And then this one is one of my newer 
lipsticks from L'Oreal. This is in number 112, Unending Kiss. Love this color. This one was also in the 30 Days of Lipstick challenge that I did. It's a beautiful kind of pinky nude, leaning more so on the pink side. So definitely going to hang on to that one, as you can see there. And it does have a little bit of a shine, but it just it lays so nice on the lips. So I'm gonna keep this, love this. And I would definitely recommend this line from the drugstore as well. I have this guy here. This is one of the e.l.f. lipsticks in T Rose. This is one of my favorite lipstick shades. It's very similar. Well, it reminds me to the Power lipstick from um, NYX. So as you can see here, it's more of a mauve than purple, so. The tones are kind of similar. They both kind of do the same thing for my lips. I have green eyes, so this is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. I finished one of these in T. Rose Off in the past, and I definitely want to hang on to this one. I really like these for the fall time as well, that T. Rose shade. I have two Milani lipsticks. I'm going to save both of them. One of them is in Matte Blissful, which is more of the pink sort of color. It's like a pinky purple tone. This is really pretty. I really enjoy the tones of this one specifically. And then I have number 26, Nude Creme. And this one I want to finish off in 2018. So this guy is on the chopping block list. It's a really pretty kind of easy nude shade, but it has a little bit more of an orange tone to it than the rest of my nude lipsticks, so I'm going to keep it, but it will be finished off in 2018 for sure. I have two of the Maybelline Color Whisper lipsticks. I love this line. I can't believe they discontinued it. Um, the purple one here is in Ooh La Lilac, and then I have number 25 in Lust for Blush. I'm going to unfortunately get rid of the lilac one. It's just a very bright and purpley toned. So this one would be more so appropriate for the spring and summertime for me, but I don't want to keep it around until next spring and summer to use it up. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. I will hang on to the Lust for Blush one because I do have a little bit more progress going in this one and these really don't take very long to finish off. That's all the lipstick I have in there. So this one is definitely gonna be finished off for either the end of 2017 or the first part of 2018. So love this one. Here is one from Tarte. This is one of the very last ones of these that I have. Have remaining in my collection. This one came out of a set. This is in Fancy. This is more of like a berry, like a reddish berry sort of tone. And like I said, I just don't wear reds very often. So if I'm going to opt for a red, it's going to be a bright red and it's going to be matte. This one just leans too much berry, so I'm going to get rid of this one. See if somebody will take it, one of my nieces or something. If not, I'll just toss it in the garbage. The other one from that line is in Innocent, and I'm going to hang on to this one, I do believe, because this one is a little bit more wearable for me on an everyday basis, and I think I could finish it off fairly quickly. That's the swatch of it there at the very top, so... Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna hang on to this one. I have a couple of these Maybelline lipsticks. I have two of the matte ones. I have number 682, Blushing Pout. This is gorgeous. This is like a purpley, mauve pink sort of colored lipstick. Love this one to death. I could see myself finishing this one off eventually. I just barely got turned on to this one. This is number 660, Touch of Spice. This is gorgeous. I'm going to start pulling this one out to wear for the fall time. If you don't have this one in your collection, don't uh, don't wait as long as I did. Try it out. I think you'd really enjoy it. If you have green eyes or light eyes, I think it would look really beautiful on your, you know, on your skin tone against your eyes. So that is a swatch of Touch of Spice there. It's really pretty. I wish I would have jumped on the bandwagon with this lipstick earlier on, but anyway. I really like that one for the fall time, for a deeper sort of color. And then this one, as much as I love it, this is number 725, Lilac Flush. I've just had this around for so long, and the collection came out so long ago. I just don't reach for this one as much as it needs to be reached for. It's 
it has enough pink in it to wear you could pull it off and it wouldn't look super fluorescent on the lips. It's pulling way more bright and neon on my swatch here than it is in real life, but it definitely has enough pink tones in it to where I think a lot of different complexions could pull off this color, but I've just had it around for so long, it needs to go. So, mm -hmm, that one makes me really sad. This one here, it looks like it should be in my higher end bin over there, but this is actually my um, Wet n Wild Fergie Daily Lipstick that I depotted into one of my Dior lip glow containers. So I'm gonna hang on to this one. I don't think she even makes this line anymore, so I probably need to finish this off before the end of 2018, but it's really nice having it in that packaging. So I'm gonna hang on to that. I have two Clinique lipsticks here. One is in Shy and one is in Pink Bamboo. Shy is a little bit more of a fall color, I would say. Just kind of like a mauve tone there, but I have so many mauve tones, I'm not gonna reach for this one over something else. So I think I'm finally gonna let Shy go, but it is an absolutely beautiful shade if you're in the market for a Clinique lipstick in that kind of color range. And then Pink Bamboo, this is what this one looks like here. It looks very weird. It looks like a brown frosty lipstick. It kind of is, but something about it makes it a little bit more wearable than you would imagine. But I've had it around for so long and I've just been reaching for other things over it that I think I'm gonna let this one go as well, as much as it pains me. Ooh, I really like this one. This is the CoverGirl Katie Cat Matte Lipstick in Katie Purry. This is, oh, Kitty Purry? Yeah, Kitty Purry, sorry. This is beautiful. I love this lipstick. It It's gorgeous. Um, I need to wear this some more, especially for the fall time. But that is what it looks like there. It's just beautiful. It's like a pinky, mauve, purple, not too loud, not too bright. So I'm going to pull this one out and get a little bit more wear out of this one over the next month or two. So saving this guy in Kitty Purry. And the packaging is just so adorable on these. So hanging on to that one. Here's one from Flower Beauty. Unfortunately, I have not used this one. Oh wait, no, I take that back. I think I've used this one once. This came out of a set. This is LB5 Hot Honeysuckle. And I would much rather pass this on to like a niece or something. This is a true peachy sort of color. I don't wear these very often. I'm reaching for a pink or a gloss over a peachy sort of lipstick like that. So this one, definitely gonna be passed on, as sad as it makes me. I've been hanging on to it for a while, thinking I would just use it up in one of my Project 10 pans or something, but I think I'll just let it go and focus on something else. In the meantime, I have three lipsticks left. This one right here, unfortunately, I've just had it around for so long. This is a really fantastic lipstick if you're looking for something Super inexpensive at the drugstore. This is the NYC 446 in Smooch. It's beautiful. I've just had mine around for so long that it definitely needs to go. That is what the swatch looks like there. Crazy pigmented, really opaque. It wears nice throughout the day. This is a really nice line in my opinion. If you can find the matte, like the satiny matte ones like this, I definitely recommend them, but I am gonna pass this one on just because I have a couple other lipsticks that are similar in tone, and this one's been around for much longer than I'd like to admit. I have a Kate lipstick from the Rimmel brand. This is number 45. I love this color, and here's a little quick swatch of it. It's a little bit of a deeper nude, and I really like it. So hanging on to this guy. I like this one in the fall time too. It's the perfect fall kind of easy nude color that would go with essentially anything. And then the last one here is from Essence. I love these lipsticks. This one is in number 11, Nude Love. I wear this if I have a lot going on on the eyes. Like, I think I use this one in my 30 days of lipstick video to that makeup challenge, lipstick challenge, that's it there. It's nude, but it has some pink 
tones to it, but it just looks great on the lips if you have a really dark or a really smoky eye going on. So anyway, that is what I'm keeping out of my drugstore lipsticks down here. Let me rearrange this and show you everything that I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. So after I rearrange things around just a little bit, between these two bins over here on the right, I have 43 that I kept, and then the ones that I am getting rid of over here off on the left, there are 21. So I think, what is that? A third of the lipsticks here that I got rid of. So I'm pretty pleased with that. And then like I mentioned in that box over there on the far left, I will be doing a whole MAC lip swatch video and I'll be applying everything to the lips. It's gonna take a little while, but after that video then I can do a MAC lipstick declutter if you guys were interested in that. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts were, if you have any of these lipsticks, if you have done a lipstick declutter in the near future. I might go on and do this with my lip glosses and liquid lipsticks, all that kind of jazz. If you're up for that, please let me know and that's it. So I really do appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!